Hello, it's Ian Marsden from MarsdenCartoons.com and um, this is the second brief little video I'm making just to show how I work. I'm in a program called Corel Painter and I did a first video just showing some rough doodling including a terrible little duck that um, was just awful but it was just to demonstrate the program here we have a little more refined drawing. Uh, this was actual line artwork that I did with a pen and ink quill on paper. And as you can see, it's quite detailed. Sometimes I like to work like that because it just gives me these little scratchy, uneven bits from paper. And the paper resists, so when I'm scratching along with my pen, it gives me the, it just gives me a, a line that I like it feels good it feels natural um, and it looks a little less clean a little less digital than if I had drawn this directly in painter or Photoshop or Illustrator um, however the color is completely digital uh, it's on these layers here this is the drawing uh, scan the drawing in. I cleaned it up if there was anything to clean up. Sometimes there's little things that bug me. Or if you spill any ink or there's little ink splotch, splotches you don't want, you get rid of those. Then I generally put a basic underlying color as if I had put a wash on the watercolor. And then I have my flats. Those are just flat colors that I did in Photoshop. Sometimes by cutting using the mask tool, sometimes just by brushing them on. And I have another layer here with a slight dark bluish gray which is set to multiply here which means it lets the light through from behind or it mixes, shall I say, with the mix, with the paint, and it's at 50%. And I put that on there just to make the whole ambience a little darker. As you can see, it's just really candy colored like that. And like that, it's a little darker. There's a layer mask on there where I airbrushed where I want it to show and where I do not want it to show. So the areas I didn't want to show, I airbrushed them away. And I can always change that later in here with non-destructive techniques of working. Now this cartoon, again it really does have a lot of detail. If you look at these guys with their rhino, which either they've just hunted it and shot it, or they're standing there and the rhino is sneaking up behind them. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know myself what's going on in my drawings. There's also another little detail here. You have Joanna and Ashley, who are, of course, my daughters. And they somehow got their stockings hung up here. Now, this cartoon, one could say it's finished. Um, you know, you can also overwork things. Um, for this one, I'm, I'm, it's it's done, it's finished. But you could even go in there and really go to town with the colors. And give it the whole cartoon. Uh, you know, a ha hand colored, hand rendered feeling. I don't know. I might actually still do that and just see what it looks like. But I have a feeling that it might actually be overkill. Maybe not. Maybe not. See, I mean, I like that. Yeah, adding the texture here to the to that stocking give it a bit of a shadow, which it would have, of course, if it was hanging right in front of the fire. And um, it 
makes it look more like it was made out of wool or some kind of material. I can just pick up the background color there and do the same here. You know, actually, I think I will go over this because I think it's going to look even better. It's going to look somewhat. Um, well, it's going to look like it's been really worked on. But sometimes it's good. If you do it just right, it's good. If you overwork it, sometimes it becomes unnecessarily busy. And But I think there are a couple of areas here that I'm going to touch up. I actually just went into the green there with the red, and it's just mixing it nicely anyway. I just I love that about Painter. Another area where I could probably do a lot of interesting things here is with the fire. I could probably um, even create another layer there and go in with some maybe light flames with a the oil colors maybe. But I'm going to decide on all that later. It's quite a surface to cover. But as you can see, you know, that already looks better. That looks nice. Before it was too flat. And again, if you make a mistake, you could just go over it again. So you don't have to worry. And you're not going to ruin your lines because your lines are on a different layer which is just the beauty of these digital methods of working. And when I started out, which was only 20 years ago, of course, was not possible. So if you spilled your color, uh, you had to go over it with white out or white paint, and it just became a mess, and you covered your lines. And it drove you to drink large quantities of black coffee till the wee hours of the morning. Anyway, I hope this has explained just a little bit how this is all done, or at least how I do it. I mean, there are millions of ways of doing this. I'm not saying this is the only way of doing it. And I hope you enjoyed that little presentation. Thank you for visiting my site, and um, talk to you soon. I think I'm going to do a little video about the football heroes I just worked on. So keep an eye out for that. Take care. Bye.